On the same day that we shot the Insane Room sequences, we immediately rolled into an all-night shoot, finding ourselves all the way back at the beginning of the Truth or Dare legacy, this time at an eerie campfire with Mike Strauber and the voluptuous hitchhiker playing the violent game of self-mutilation one more time. This was one of the last days of the shoot, and at 24 hours straight, it was a doozy. I think we shot about 20 pages of script altogether in a 24 hour period that day. By the end, our heads were spinning. Steve Prouty really came through with a lot of last minute gore effects for these scenes and worked round the clock himself to get the job done. He would go on to be very successful in the movie biz, working on projects like Tim Burton's Planet of the Apes and Ron Howard's Angels and Demons. He's also had three Makeup Artist Emmy Award nominations. Truth or Dare, A Critical Madness has built a slow cult following in the underground scene over the ensuing decades, spawning sequels, follow-ups, and continued interest from die-hard fans. The finished product was nowhere near what the original script had been. Yes, most of what I had written was there, but things were interpreted contrary to my original vision, important story points weren't filmed, and the gore effects came out less than spectacular, in my opinion. They were bloody and impacting, but not over the top, as we had advertised. The only thing that made them noteworthy was, ironically, the variety of victims I had chosen. Anyone and everyone, from infants to the elderly. I did the best I could under the circumstances and fought to get as much of my vision on the screen as possible, but when you're fighting against the folks in charge of the purse strings, it becomes difficult, and by the last couple of shooting days, impossible. Friction between myself and some of the producers escalated into me being kicked off the set on the very last two days of our 14-day shoot, and I was eventually barred from editing. So the final and only version of this film is not necessarily my cut. While this particular creative journey ended with many hard feelings and drawn out litigation over credits, money, and about everything else you could imagine, I eventually let go of any bitter feelings I had in the end, and I'm just grateful I had the opportunity to have had a nice little budget behind one of my scripts and that the movie was finished and released worldwide. That in itself is truly an accomplishment and a blessing, more than a lot of aspiring artists might ever get. And I continue to follow the passion for creativity that seems to run rampant in my blood. Remember, live for something or die for nothing, and no obstacle will ever leave you the way it found you. <laughs>